long wearing foundation so let's see how long wearing it is hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be testing the new makeup revolution foundation testing how it feels how it wears i'm going to be doing an eight hour wear test today new excess liquid skin foundation double fix foundations this is what the foundation looks like it says it's a silky smooth long wear sick finish foundation comes in like a pump 27 mil foundation retails for 15 pounds and it comes in 55 shades got the excess here on the cover so this is the shade 13.7 dark skin yellow undertone it does have a scent to it but not that overpowering it feels creamy it doesn't feel it's not runny it's not runny it's just a nice consistency it's quite creamy I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Infallible Primer Primer on this side and this without primer I've got primer here, no primer here I'm, ju I'm just gonna jump right into the application I'll see if the foundation covers up my spots on this side of my face I'm gonna be using my Royal Techniques brush This is the Royal Techniques Instant Face Brush another pump it definitely has got a scent to it I just don't I can't place what it smells like it's not very pleasant it's not unpleasant so it's just so it's kind of covered up nicely I like the coverage yeah I like the coverage is given very nice coverage this is the shade 13.5 and it looks like my color kind of blended nicely to my skin covered up the dark circles here covers up you know a bit more so I'm just gonna put all over and do the other side of my face I would say it's a full coverage foundation because it kind of covered up covered up any the spots covered up my hyperpigmentation and I didn't use too much I'm just gonna see if it oxidizes or it dries down black um, or if it's true to color so this is what it's looking like so far doesn't feel heavy obviously it feels like I've got something on but it's not heavy it doesn't smell that bad actually yeah can't really place it but it does have a scent so far it looks not too drying so it's not fully mate I can still see shine there's not much difference between the one without primer this is without primer this is with primer uh, there's no much difference between the two sides right now so I'm just gonna let it sit for like five minutes to see if it's true to color or it oxidizes or you know just for the first five minutes to see how it dries down this is how it's looking after five minutes it dried down a bit darker as compared to when I applied it I think just by a tiny bit but it's not too dark so it did not oxidize so much that it's not true to color normally i would set because i've got oily skin so i would do just that so i'll set with my revolution banana powder i'm 
I'm not gonna be using any concealer I just want the color to stay like so but I'm just gonna set it because I normally would set my face so just a tiny bit of powder just to set to ignore my small um, pimples over there but um, yeah so this is what the makeup is looking like after I've set it with powder I actually like it I can rock this on a daily basis it just looks nice I like the coverage definitely covered up um, hyperpigmentation covered up my dark spots over here I think I would just leave it like so I'm not gonna do any much it definitely feels that I've got something on so it's not that lightweight so I can feel it on my skin it doesn't feel too bad but it definitely I can feel it on my skin it doesn't look too cakey or heavy but it, I can feel that there's something on I like the packaging, I like the way it's got a pump on it, I like the pump in there. It seems to be true to colour, it's not really oxidised to a darker shade or anything. It says it's long wearing, it doesn't say how many hours on the website, it just says it's a long wearing foundation. So let's see how long wearing it is. So I'm just going to have this on my face for 8 hours and I'm going to come back to let you guys know how I head on for 8 hours. Time now is this, 2.36 so I'll come back after 8 hours. So this is like 8 hours, this is past 8 hours because I did the makeup earlier on, did it around 2 30 something and now it's about almost 11 o'clock at night, way past 8 hours. So I've had the foundation on way past 8 hours now and this is what it's looking like. Oily in the T-zone area, it's got combination to oily skin. This is the side without the primer and this is with the primer. So there's not much of a difference. After four hours, five hours, then six hours, it began to settle into fine lines. It feels really sticky on my skin. It just feels cakey now. Pores are more pronounced in the middle of my face. My T-zones, the shine is sipping through. This foundation claimed to be a silky smooth finish. Yes, it was nice. This is not the best finish, but it was nice. Long wearing. No, I wouldn't say it's long wearing because after six hours, um, the oil is set, sipped through, settled into my fine lines and the pores are more pronounced on my T-zone. Full coverage, yeah it is full coverage. I don't really like the way it felt on my skin, I felt there was something on my skin. Now it feels really cakey, it feels sticky, it didn't last as long but it's not bad if I were to blot it possibly. So let me try and blot it. Really okay it's just the t-zone which is where i would normally go oily these are the parts that are oily you could potentially rock this all day i think you can wear it all day it lasted all day it's not that bad but i expected a lot much more much more for 15 pounds there's some 10 pound foundation that i own like the l'oreal infallible one that it's doing a good job so i'm you know i expected much more from this foundation it didn't deliver it looks it looks nice now that i've blotted it so it's not a bad foundation i would wear it so in terms of my final views on this foundation it's not bad it is okay this is after eight hours of wear it is not spectacular it's an okay foundation but for 15 pounds i expected much more the color seemed to be true to color it did not really oxidize got 55 shades which is a fantastic range so well done to makeup revolution for catering for more skin tones the price for 15 pounds i expected a lot i've got some other foundations that are 10 pounds that are living up to a lot um so i actually expected a lot of for this foundation but it's 15 pounds and it just it's it's just not yeah it's not spectacular price so I, I think it's just too much for a drugs because it's a drugstore and it's not living up to it's not doing anything different from other drugstore foundation it applied okay in terms of the application it applied it blended nicely so in terms of the blend i would give it that it did apply nicely it was true to color i am not fully impressed by this but it is okay and i will wait i don't think i'll buy it again so i hope you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a like if you did if you're new please subscribe the button is just right there click subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you see my videos as soon as they come if you're already a subscriber i love you i appreciate you i'll see you in my next one guys bye